Jack, after the strangest pre-season of your career, were almost ready to get stuck in the goal line. You must just be desperate to get going. Yeah, um, it's been an unusual period, and it's been it's been quite a long pre-season period as well. It was probably a little bit longer than most clubs would have had planned, um, but given the period of inactivity we had prior to being able to come back in, I think it was necessary. Um, we've been able to phase the players back in, and um, I think the last three or four weeks in particular have allowed us to build up properly to this weekend. But certainly, um, Saturday will feel more like. Um, what it was like before, although still obviously missing the very obvious and necessary element of support of being back in the stadium, but at least it's a good starting point for us to get back to competitive football. I think I'm right saying you tried to keep it uh, as normal a uh, pre-season build-up as you could in terms of you didn't have the boys in early for the sake of it, you, you had your deliberate programme to get them up to speed. Yeah, um, you know, I think we um, we had to, to tailor um, the early part of our pre-season programme um, because of the social distance rules that were in place. and. Um, we had the group was, was slightly unusual for the group to be spread out and not be amongst each other for that period but in terms of the length of time and the work they did it was um, very much akin to what they would do normally um, while being conscious of that period of inactivity they'd had I mean the players and players in general nowadays are you know they're well educated in terms of how they look after themselves and, and they're highly professional in how they do so however the one part you, you, it's very difficult to replicate on your own is, is playing among football amongst other people and, and what that involves physically. So I'm um, conscious of that when we build up to it. But certainly, the, as I mentioned there, the last three or four weeks have been much more like a normal pre-season training. Obviously, with the addition of matches within that as well. So it's felt as if um, you know our preparations have we've been pleased with them and they've been aligned to what they would be like under normal circumstances as well. It almost becomes a cliche idea because we talk about it so often, but you've had a lot of good types in the dressing room. How important of a back core been for, for you in the last few weeks? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It, you're right. It gets talked about a lot in football, and, and from things in my experience, it can be um, communicated. It's not always the reality. I mean, the the, the the heart, the, I mean, the actual truth here is that we have a really good group of players, and I was fortunate to walk into a changing room that had. Um, a core group that that manage the playing side of it very very well, and and their I think their understanding um, of the situation over the past few months, their willingness to assist in that respect, um, their appreciation of the challenge of balancing moving forward as a club, and um, and, and and meeting some of the challenges we have has been terrific. I'm fortunate to have good open lines of communication with my senior players, and as I said, I can't speak highly enough of how they've handled that situation, how they then help to keep the group together and morale amongst the group has been terrific from day one of pre-season. As I said, the, the professionalism, commitment, dedication through that period, um, I can't speak highly enough of it. As always with footballers, and, and I include myself in that, you're always judged on results and what happens on the pitch and that's the harsh reality of the job. But in terms of judging these people on, on how they go about their, their work and their commitment to this club, um, they're absolutely outstanding in that respect. Have you helped? Helped you incorporate some of the younger players that you've had in the group, whether it's Louis Stevenson taking a hat at George Toygan, Louis Wing, or, or Joe Newell giving Ryan Shanley tips in his hair. It's, uh, it's been a mixed bag. Yeah, they're, they're a, because of the, the qualities that I mentioned in, in the last answer, they're a, an unbelievably easy group to walk into and, and include the, the players that we've added to the squad. So if you ask, I think, Alex, Kevin, and Dre how they've adjusted, they would say very easily, but that's testament to that group. And then, albeit, they would know these young players that have been in with us from day one of pre-season, but having that day-to-day -day involvement with them and uh, interaction with them is something that they've not had. So how they've assisted them is, again, testament to their mentality. Um, and then that learning aspect of from a young player is, is terrific. It's a great way, way to learn whether or not it's active communication, whether it's not just watching how players go about their business on a daily basis, because you don't get a proper insight into that until you're working alongside them every day. So. All those young players that I've mentioned that have been in, whether they remain in the first team squad for the remainder of the season, whether they drop back in the development squad, will have benefited hugely from it. Josh, for example, somebody that seems to have stepped up and sort of done everything you've asked of him over the pre season. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was chatting to him this morning about it that um, because of the circumstances of last season, when I came into the job and where we were, um, and obviously Josh being out on loan, been having that real close interaction with him wasn't really possible. So this pre-season I was conscious of that and the circumstances meant that he was part of what I was doing from day one. 
So it's allowed me to have a really good period of assessment for him and, he, and everything we've asked him to do, he's done terrifically well. So going back to the, the conditioning aspect of it, which is tough for young players and he dealt with that really well. And then you start to look at the technical side of it, the tactical side, and again, your response has been excellent. Um, the obvious way to judge that is how he performs in games. Um, you know, we've played tough opposition in recent weeks and again, he's handled that really well. Still a very young man, but um, been really impressed with him so far. You know, all the young players that have been in the group have, have been good for me in terms of how they've helped us prepare for the season. Uh, it's an opportunity that's arisen for them. That's the first part of it. The second part of it is how they take the opportunity. And, and right now, Josh is one of those that, that's grabbing that and he's just got to continue to do so. Add three to the group, and they seem to fit in seamlessly. It's like they've been here for quite a good few months. Yeah, I think it's always when when you know when we're recruiting, there's, there's so many different facets to look at, and again, the obvious one is what they'll bring on the pitch. Um, I think the players that were brought in have helped the balance of the squad. I think they bring quality to the group, but we've tried to find out as much as we could character-wise about them as well, and and all three of pretty much showing what I thought they would. They're all different characters and different personalities, but I think if you watch our training and see how they play other players interact with them, it would, it would give you a really clear indication to how quickly um, they've felt part of the group and how quickly the, the rest of the group has, um, has embraced them as well. Ben and Jack, the supporters have really stepped up over the, the last few months to, to help the club out. They're going to be with you in spirit on Saturday, if not in, in person. Have you got a message for them? I mean, I think I get asked this often and I know that I mentioned how people can believe that you just communicate messages for the sake of communicating them. It's very easy to throw out a message of gratitude, but it's most sincerely, um, it's said with most sincerity, sorry, because the, to show that level of commitment through this period of uncertainty, and even when there is a little bit of certainty at the moment, to show that level of support, given that they don't get that very obvious um, enjoyment from coming into the stadium, hopefully enjoyment on most occasions, then um, it, it's very much appreciated by, by us in the playing and the coaching side of the club. It, it helps us to try and build things on the side of it. And now doing this very much throws upon us to, to reward them for that. You know, starting this weekend and building up from that as we go into the season. You know, we've got a lot to look forward to within the season in terms of what we want to try and achieve within the league, what we can achieve within cup competitions, um, be it the, the outstanding one from last season and those that will start again this season. So um, a huge thank you to them again. And as I said, there's a group, players and staff that are determined to reward them for that um, continued support and commitment.